Hey guys, it's Gigi. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, just checking. The simple fact that it is already January makes me want to put a bullet in my foot. Today, I'm gonna be doing something that was very highly requested. You guys wanted a get ready with me. And it just so happens me and my husband are going out on a date night tonight. You will see where we started this process. Jump scare warning. <laughs> I wanted to go for something like natural, pretty girl, clean girl aesthetic, flawless base, natural eye, but it always just ends up to be full glam. So come on this journey with me, bitch, grab a snack, and let's get into the glam. Okay, I just got back from the gym. This is absolutely tragic, hence the spray tan I did last night. I don't know why I went to the gym and sweat in this. I need to wash this off. Shout out Willem Merch, eating a bag of dicks, <laughs> literally. So consider this the before. I'm about to get glam, I'm about to feel beautiful. Let's go shower. <laughs> Okay, so much better all clean. Whoa, I gotta get some makeup on. Side note, I have a new Starbucks order and this is the first time in like years that I've had one. Green tea with lemonade. I'm obsessed. It literally tastes like juice, but like there's caffeine in it. So let's go. Okay, so tonight is date night. Date night. <laughs> so me and my husband are going to one of our favorite spots. He is just like completely obsessed with Sushi Park. It's here in Los Angeles. It's on Sunset Boulevard. It's very traditional sushi. The last time we went was probably a couple months ago and we sat at the bar and you don't even order literally every single time. They just give you what they're making and they give you like two pieces. So you just get like one little taste of it, which is really cute. I like that a lot. But the last time we were there, I ended up drinking like three bottles of that pink cold sake. And if you know, you know, because that shit is so delicious. It just creeped up on me. And before I knew it, she was lit. Oh, I probably should have plucked my brows. He'll understand. Of course, I'm gonna set everything. Okay, bitch. And I want this to be a little bulletproof base. So we're gonna go in with like a neutral little setting powder, really lock it in there. Obviously, before I started filming, I just posted real quick on my Instagram story, anything you guys wanted to like hear about or like questions or catch up on, whatever. And a lot of you guys wanted to know an update on me and Matt's fertility journey. That is something that I have been getting a lot of questions about online, in my real life. I think the last update I did was a couple months ago. The number one thing I've been getting is like, oh my God, when is the baby due? And I'm like, whoa, 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 pump the brakes. The last update that I gave was that we had six six embryos, which means that basically we have six babies, individual babies, like all on ice, which is a huge accomplishment. If you guys have been following, obviously, you know that like we've been through a lot. I had absolutely no active swimmers in my sperm. So that was like a huge accomplishment. So for us to be here is like a huge moment. So I think me putting out that update was a little bit confusing to some people because some people even in my personal life are like texting me like, Gigi, when is the baby going to be here? What zodiac sign is it going to be? I'm like, whoa. Whoa, let's chill for a second because there is no baby cooking in an oven. They are definitely just frozen right now as embryos. And that is exactly the plan. That is exactly what we wanted to do. But the fact that we have healthy babies and the fact that they are biologically each of ours is so special. And it's a moment that I never ever thought would happen. So I'm just really being happy with this moment that we're at. So whenever we decide to bring one of those amazing, magical, miracle angel baby embryos into the world is when we decide to do it. And with it being date night and Valentine's Day coming soon, I have a great gift suggestion for you and your partner. If you're looking to expand your sexual experiences beyond traditional penetration, Soraya beads are for you. So there are eight powerful pleasure settings to this device. And let me tell you, it feels so, so good. And the Soraya beads innovative bow motion trademark technology, which are actually inspired by the masterful movements of violin players, which I was gagged about, like what? not instruments for inside us. And these movements create a powerful vibration to resonate and create a feeling without penetrative motion. If you've read my first book, He Said, She Said, or my second book, The Tea Guide, you know your girl is not an amateur when it comes to butt play. But when this came in the mail, I was gagged. It literally feels so good. And I think that it's good for like, I guess you could say like pros, like pro anal players. <laughs> 
or beginners, honestly. I think that it starts really, really small. I mean, there's so many different settings. So like you could go really little, you could go really big. And if you notice, there are four beads ranging from size on here, which is not a suggestion, honey. It is a promise that you will be stimulated inside as well as outside as this fourth bead acts as like a rimming little tool. So as it's vibrating, you're gonna have these three in if you choose to go that deep. But I guess that actually depends on what deep means to you. Wow. The design I just think is like so cool. It just almost seems like futuristic and like dope. And if you want any of the Lalo products, this one or any others, you can use my code GG5 to give you 5% off your entire order at checkout. Happy shopping. Wouldn't be a date night without that, but let's move on to finish my beat. Oh my God. The craziest thing just caught my eye. One second. Okay, so I was gifted this bobblehead, right? This was the original photo. I've never had a bobblehead of myself and I feel like that's a very unique gift to give. Just please get into it. This is the outfit. Obviously very custom, super beautiful. The detail is insane. I was dying. I was like, oh my God, from a photo they can do all this. Down to the little Versace shoes that I was wearing. But please, please get into the face. Who is that? Is it Jay Leno's sister? Who is that? I think there must have been like a shady gay or like a hater in the workshop that day because girl, where does this come from this? <laughs> it just doesn't. But this is now gonna sit in my office until the end of time, obviously, because I see her as iconic. Or like, should I ask her pronouns? Is it giving he, him? <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of shimmer from my friend Carly Bible's new line. I'm just gonna do it with my finger. Oh, pretty. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh no, my eyes. You know what it might be actually? The fact that I was just sick over the holidays. Speaking of holidays, bitch, we are still in the thick of it when it comes to Christmas. I don't know why I didn't do a TikTok or like an Instagram thing, whatever. I just literally was like living my life this holiday season, but we went all the fuck the way in. So let me just show you. All right, so to start, this is our front door. Angels. Are they blowing horns? Are they blowing? We're not sure, but how gorgeous. Oh, is that price tag still in there? Let's turn that around. No one needs to be seeing that. Wreaths galore. You open the front door to this gargantuan tree. It's our first year doing faux, but I think I might be a fan. It just holds up so nice. Also our kittens, when it's a real tree, there's like a little like water thing down there. And I don't know why they want to drink from it, but it makes them sick. So faux all the way. We have another little guy here. And by little, I mean like 10 feet tall. We have these. This one's our black living room Christmas tree. Oh, this little, I almost forgot about this. It's like a little village. So cute. And then even outside, there's more trees with this as the little topper. You really just can't tell me now. Ugh, I'm obsessed. Oh, and lastly, right outside our bedroom, there's this huge bow hanging off the railing and then another tree. I'm using a Hoover driver's card that I found in my purse. Oh my God, works good. Lashes are about to go on and we all know it's a make or break with these little guys. Oh, did we do it? Ha ha ha. All right, let's move on to hair, bitch. So I curled all my extensions a few days ago. Everything obviously is going to fall by the end of the night, but I love doing a tinier barrel curl just because I know that it's gonna last. And like, look at that, hello? You know what, this robe is like a little bit limiting. Let me go change real quick. Okay, much better. So the first thing that I like doing when I do my hair extensions is parting the hair, obviously. I like to do it right above the ears. And then taking these like clear little elastic bands and tying all this underside up. Nobody needs these short layers showing. He said, I'm not being paid for this. Let me down. We are gonna take the first piece of extensions. It is my four clip. This is like the be all end all. And already you have a little bit of the look and none of those like little short layers that would come through. Next layer. Recently, I got my hair done by somebody different. I just got lazy and I was like, oh my God, my friend's doing it, so I should. And like, he totally ruined my hair. But to save damage, all I've been doing is tucking all of this hair right behind my ears. There is no heat, there is no nothing. Everything is just tucked behind the ear, my natural hair. And then this just looks like thick voluminous hair, which it is. I guess I could get like a U-part wig, which I've actually been really, really curious about. But I don't know any brands that do it really well, so I'm just sticking to clip-ins. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? It's giving. Are you guys hearing this, by the way? Guys, I'm trying to clip in my extensions. Some people just don't get it. 
Okay, so hair is done. The front is like setting. This is the moment that I've been waiting for for this video. So for tonight's date night, I'm going to surprise my husband with one of his own designs from Strike Oil, which is his clothing line. I think it's like a summer piece, but I'm spray tanned. I wanna show my body regardless of how cold it is outside. I'm gonna make it my own vibe. I'm gonna put on this little green number. I don't even know if he knows that I have this because we were doing like a Strike Oil photo shoot one day and I think I just ended up in my bag. All right, so I just got changed into my date night look. This is the final look. I'm like obsessed with this. It's honestly giving like bikini a little bit, but like I'm not pissed, are you? Because if you are, I think that's a you problem. <laughs> I might throw a jacket over this, even though I feel like my hair is the jacket because it might be a little bit cold, but this is the final look. I'm obsessed. But yeah, thank you so much for getting ready with me for my date night, start to finish. Literally, bitch. Can we look back at the progress that we've made? Who is she? I love you guys so much. I hope you're having an amazing 2024 so far. I hope you guys are feeling inspired, happy. I know it's easier said than done to feel those things, but this is me giving you good vibes. Let me know what you guys want to see me do on this channel this year. I'm so inspired. I'm so excited. And until I see you in the next one, stay gorgeous.